Hey guys, how's everyone doing? I got a package in the mail from McKinley Comics, and it's it's already been here about a week, so I thought I'd better um, take a look at it. So I'll um, put McKinley's channel in the description. It's a great channel. He's uh, usually putting up a video a week. And the video will start with him out and about getting his, his new Wednesday comics. And sometimes he'll be at the farmer's market getting some fish and chips. But it's great stuff. Holy cow. I'm going to go ahead and read this real quick. Uh, I'll just, if it goes too long, I'll, I'll edit it out. I'll go ahead and read it. Mr. Riggs, first I want to apologize for taking so long to send this. Sorry. Now to say, I really appreciate your support. It knocks me out when you comment. You're so sincere and clearly a genuine dude. <laughs> Total 100 emoji. I'm also blown away by the AOK -okay you sent me. Like, wow, I would have never expected that. My collection is so small. I don't think I have anything you might need except maybe these Rose Besh covers. I hope you don't have them already. Plus, the Atlantis Fantasy World printing of Comics Everywhere from The Lost Boys. I love that scene in the movie. My brother and I would literally pause um, the screen during that part in The Lost Boys to see what, what books we could find. And <laughs> um, yeah, I like, I like what the kid says, too, about the way the, the Superman comics from one event were already with the ones from another event, so. Hope you enjoy Savior. Let me know what you think. Peace, love, bunny and bear. Your friend, McKinley. Bunny and bear are... Two little kitty cats from McKinley's um, sometimes weekly comic strip. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm, I'm going to start with... Oh my gosh, this is so nice. I'm going to start with this right here. Because this is awesome. I didn't know they were puffy stickers. Oh, these are great. When I first saw these, I thought they were coins with a prince on them. No. Oh, man, these are cool. I've gone on a Michael Jackson renaissance. It all started with the movie Ben, the sequel to Willard, that Michael Jackson did... Um, the song for at the very end, it's a terrifying <laughs> um, exploration in animal cruelty, both to animals and from animals, and it ends with <laughs> maybe the most beautiful song. The only song I can think of in contention for most beautiful song is Stevie Wonder's Stay Gold from the Outsiders soundtrack. But these, these are great. They... They're in little sleeves. It makes me think of when my dad would collect. Not he didn't collect so much as stamps as he collected coins. Cover for thriller. Uh, oh man. I had to sit down and listen to uh, Smooth Criminal with um, um, with lyrics 
and have new newfound appreciation for that song. But I don't know if you could beat Billy Jean. That that was the the main debate I saw. Which album is better, Thriller or Bad? Um, I can't weigh in. It's like Rubber Soul and Revolver. Bookmark. Really nice. Peace, love, button, and bear. This first one. Oh, wow. Uh, McKinley had an unannounced contest that he, he raffled me in. And I won this this Savior comic. And these stickers are from a local Santa Cruz artist. Excellent. I have. I have a, in the LA Harbor area, I have a war surplus store I go to, and when I do, I will buy these stickers by a local artist named Big Toe, so I, I, kind of, I really appreciate these kind of decals. Oh man, excellent www.chumpmagic.com have this sort of king crab and a Nordic helmet. <laughs> Save your sticker. And we have an aristocratic brainy zombie. Awesome. I have a, a locker. Well, um, a file cabinet I adorn with the stickers. That'll be great. So we have Savior, which I will go ahead and um, read tonight. And I'll put my, uh, my thoughts at the end of the video. So I'll do that. Oh, man. I can't tell you how much I've wanted this. But I'm so grateful to have gotten this package in the mail. I'm glad it, it looks like it came priority and it was left at my door because I, I, I completely stopped ordering anything. I, um, I had incident after incident. If I wasn't, you know what? That's terrible. I don't want to talk about that here. I'll just say I'm very glad and very grateful to have gotten this package. And it's a small miracle. It really is, man. It's, it's so awesome that it got here. And, and it came to my door, which I was speechless. I could have cried. <laughs> it, was, it was a big moment when this got here. And this... Oh my gosh. This replica from Lost Boys. It's so cool. Blackthorn Comics, which I, I, I love Blackthorn in general. I know Michael Comic Crypt of Castle Hills recently shared some Blackthorn uh, of, of a werewolf comic. And they also did uh, my, my Battle Beasts little run of comics. Visit Atlantis, find your fantasy. From the flames of hell, your soul is mine. Just don't invite this dude into your house. Just say, sorry, sir. You're not welcome here. Oh, my gosh. These Rose Bash books. Oh. These are beautiful. 
I don't have any roast bash. Ah. When I when I buy these, I get Perillos. So I don't have any of these. Unholy issue one. These mean a lot because McKinley absolutely adores these covers. Oh my gosh. Sheena, Queen of the Jungle one. I never realized how pretty the eyes were. Ooh, that's beautiful. Girl with a feather in her hair. Too cute. Issue two of Sheena. Savior, and I'll be back. And man, oh man. Okay, good. I don't want to accidentally show an address without even thinking about it. And I will. I kind of like the way they look on here, though. I'm going to sort of just leave this as is for now. I have so much cardboard lying around, this is not going to hurt. Oh man. If only we knew when to stop. If only we knew. <laughs> All righty. All right. All right. I'll be back, and uh, if I forget to say it again, uh, thank you so much, McKinley. Cheers to you and your music and your comics and your um, your life in Santa Cruz, rocking out, and to your family. And um, uh, your housemates and everyone, cheers to you. Mm. Okay, I'll be back. All right, as promised, I read this and judging from the cover, it was never what I would have expected from the art, but Having seen the stickers from the artist, this savior and the acronym stands for the day the devil saved the world. This is what I, I learned is sort of a, a preview of this graphic novel, this artist and his writer have done the artist being chump magic and the the story by Petty Mojo. Uh, I really like these these two kids that are, well, unbeknownst to her, her guy friend is um, taking her up to sort of a, a lover's lane lookout nook, and they're being peered upon by <laughs> this old guy with binoculars. I really like the artwork a lot. It reminds me a lot of this artist that was wild about in the early 2000s that did a book called... First, he did a book called Bear for slave labor graphics. And then he did a book called uh, Ubu Bubu. And the artist's name was... Um, he's a British artist, so I, I assume it's Jamie, not Jaime. But uh, Jamie... Boy, I can't... Anyway, the story, it immediately heats up, <laughs> and we, we see extraterrestrials, or actually a singular, an extraterrestrial, and the, the dialogue is really funny, and they, they definitely give you a heads up on the back here, it says, warning. This graphic novel is not suitable for kids. It contains gore, nudity, dirty talk it does, foul language, and orgy. Not in this um, not in this initial book, but 
in gore. But man, I gotta say, when I when I played video games, I still do like classic video games, but when I was immersed in video games, it was always the cartoony ones that I loved the most. Um there was a game on Sega Genesis I loved called uh, Decap Attack, and it was super cartoony like this, and <laughs> it's just what I go for. It's what, what I like to draw too, but we finally meet the the um, the jefe downstairs, and yeah, I would like to read more of this. I'm almost afraid to to see if. If it was ever fully realized, because as this was put out in uh, 2019, it was a work in progress. So I know from my own endeavors that, you know, it, it doesn't always come to fruition the way we want it to, if it, if it gets done. So I got one of these stickers now. I got um, the crab. And I know um, PGH has this one here. I really like this uh, this turtle with the beard too. I might hit up Chump Magic for that one myself. Little bunny's nice. I don't know. Just I think maybe. I think maybe Sequential Geek got that one. I, I can't remember. But yeah, I, I really dug this. This is exactly what I needed. It was funny, and it was quick, and I, I was never confused. I never, if I if I went back and reread a page, it was because it was so funny I wanted to read it again, not because I I didn't get it. So I think that's good that Chunt Magic, he clearly doesn't need like an editor to let him know that your audience doesn't, just because you understand what you put on the page, doesn't mean your audience will. He seems to have that. Um, that knack with his writer, um, um, Mr. Mojo, I think it was, to uh, to get it out very clearly. So I, I liked it. Thank you, uh, thank you, Richard McKinley. And I would have, I would have never thought it was such an adorable story. Looking at these uh, these mighty fangs, but it was really cool. Uh, all right, thanks again. Appreciate it and. Um, yeah, I love my new hallway art, so can't thank you enough.